play. I'm knocking down the pins. That's how you bowl. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm playing the game. Okay, yeah, but, but the pins <clears> that I'm <throat> setting up aren't the ones you're supposed to knock down. Oh, I don't know. Hey there, and welcome to the Rural Jura Brewery Tour. Well said. Thanks, I'm Jay. I'm Seth. And this week we've got a sampler for you. The <laughs> Steamy Sampler. The <laughs> Steam <laughs> Whistle. It's a whistle. No, it's the Steamy Sampler from Steam Whistle Brewing Company. And it includes two Pilsner, two Pale Ale, and two Session Lagers. So are you supposed to serve it steamy, like hot? So we're going to start off with Steam Whistle's first beer. You know what? Isn't this the one that they did really good? If you're going to do one thing, do it well. That's right. And then we'll have the other two things later. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So yeah, this is their premium Pilsner. It's a Czech style Pilsner. Now, so what is that on top of the can? So this is their COVID proofing foil, which they've always had on top of their cans. Their COVID proofing foil. Yes. Hmm. What are you going to do with it? Well, I just didn't know what the point of the foil was. Uh, just to cover the lid. I don't oh, know. But it's in a box. Well, yeah, but if you were to buy it at the LCBO, then you would have that on top of the lid. And it it's stays? just a straight can. And it stays? Uh, I don't know. I don't buy this beer at the LCBO. Because every time often. I bought it, it doesn't have foil on it anymore. Well, maybe you're buying used beer. I don't think so. I hope not. All right, so this <clears throat> is at 5% even. And this is their premium Pilsner. There are a lot of people out there who really enjoy this Pils. This is a really good beer. I mean, I, I've had this many times. Unsurprisingly, this is crystal clear, nice light color to it, some action in the glass, mm. and a very thin head on top. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, nice yeast. Yeah, a little bit of bread on that one. Yep. Mm -hmm. But it just smells clean and easy. Absolutely. Yeah. Something funny, so... No, I just, it was, that's, that was my nickname in high school. Clean and Smells easy. Smells clean and easy? Clean and easy. Clean and easy set. Clean and easy set. I see. Oh, they were half right. Yeah, that's true. Mm. Okay, I got the mildest uh, taste of banana right off the tongue there. But only very slightly. And not like a belgian -y kind of banana. Mm. Just a kind of banana, that, you know, you get a little bit of that extract or the scent you might get off of banana bread. Yeah. Mm. I, like the, the, I like the balance between the malts and the hop. There's just a tiny, tiny bit of hop, I guess. And just a nice, I would say, light roast of the malt. It's an easy drink because nothing is to excess. It's got a little bit of, of malt, a little bit of hop, a little bit of bitter at the end. Yep. And it's just their most accessible beer. Yep. As and far as I've learned, because I haven't tried the other ones yet. But yep. I've had this before and it's just so easy to drink, right? Absolutely, it just goes down. And it gives me that slight hint of banana bread that I mentioned at the beginning because it's combining with that yeasty smell that you're getting off of it right off the yeah. top. Mm -hmm. I could say that. I can see that. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, for me, this one always just seems so bubbly in my mouth. Ah, so maybe, like my personality. No, much more bubbly. So bubbly. Bubbly. I do like that it's a little more golden colored than many Pilsners <clears throat> I've had. Yeah. yeah, it's that just that, that little bit of more roast on the malts. And you can taste it too. Mm -hmm. but yeah, it's a it's a really easy to drink beer. It's got a little bit of depth to it. It's nice. Mm -hmm. There's nothing to me that stands out as this is an exceptional product. In that, in the true definition of it, it is not an exception to the Pilsner landscape. It's okay. simply a good Pilsner. Okay, I would I could from that standpoint. Yeah, I, for me, I, I think it's a very very drinkable beer. <clears throat> It's not usually the flavor profile that I, I would normally reach for, unless it's a really hot day or something like that. But I, I certainly enjoy drinking it when I do. Next up is the premium session lager. What do you think makes it premium? Just the price? Um, I think that it's made with premium ingredients. Does that mean anything? Um, like, I could say that I the, the pancakes I make in the morning are made with premium ingredients that I hand selected for my cupboard. That is true. Yeah, I'm not sure what the, the word premium would be. Premium session lager, so well, the session part I understand. It's four percent, so it's a lighter alcohol. Yeah, it's a lighter. Um, but I, yeah, I, I would just say that it's probably premium price. Okay. Well then, let's see if it's worth it. Yeah. I'm gonna take off the uh, the foil. I can't believe this foil is still intact. That's two in a row that are still intact. That's crazy. What can I say? 
Why are you littering on the bar floor? Oh, shit. Did Carol see me? Steve. Steve. Sorry. Shit. All right. So this is a light lager, and it looks like it. Yeah. Yep. Nice light color. Yep. That's like a glass of water with a couple of drops of yellow in it. Yeah, it's very light. Mm -hmm. it's very, very light yellow. It's got some action in the glass, but not much. And negligent head. Negligible? There it is. That's the word I meant. Negligible. Negligible. Hey, I got hit in the head with a ladder today. Really? Yeah. No one else has noticed so far, intellectually. Hey, I got hit in the head with a ladder today. Did you really? I did. Okay, I'm getting uh, fresh cut grass off the nose. Yeah. Yep. A uh, little hint of that bug repellent that I... Uh, Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Getting a little of that. That's that's not a good start for me. It's certainly light. You can definitely taste it as light. Okay, this is a crusher. Yeah. You can throw this back and not even realize you had it. Yeah. That, I mean, there's there's a little bit of, I would almost say, it's like citrus pith. It's not lemon. It's not grapefruit. It's and it's just very light of that bitterness. I think you're overselling it when you're talking about it. No, no, pith. no. There's not a lot of flavor. No, here. it's very, very light. But yes. that's that's the only flavor I'm getting off of it. Well, you know, you have to pay a premium for that kind of flavor. This is a, a very crushable beer that Yeah. Honestly, it's just an easy drink. It's there's not enough there to make me want to have it again. No, no, there's there's nothing. And I don't expect a ton from a session water. No. 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 So our next steamer that we're going to drop here <laughs> is the Steam Whistle Premium Pale Ale. Emphasis on the premium. Yeah, the pale ale. Yeah, once again wrapped with foil. And it's still on. A little beer condom there. Wow. Can you get rid of that, but don't throw it at Stevie. Sorry, Stevie. Well, I'm going to put it on the table. Mm. I see. Um, have you ever had this one before? Nope. Me neither. 5% straight <clears throat> and 5% curly. Pours a nice darker color. Look at that. Oh, a little frothier on there. That's nice to see. It's a nice color. This bodes well. A little bit of, I would say, a dirty straw. It's not amber. But well, that was only dirty straw because of who was in there before you. Good head, though. Mm hmm. This even, pours like actual beer. Yeah. Like, like the last your, one. Even on yours. That's, yeah. that's pretty good. A little amber color to that. I like that. Oh. I mean, I'm not going to say anything about the smell or the taste yet, but the look is good. Yeah. No, the smell is good. It, it's a little bit citrusy. I got a little hops. Yeah. Little hops. A little so bit like, of citrus. Like, like, like the tiny ones. Not full-grown hops, just the tiniest hops. The buds. Those are fun, too. Oh, I like that. Malty. Darn it. I got my hopes up. Shouldn't have got my hopes really? up. Really? You don't like this? I'm only getting a little bit of flavor off of this. Oh. This is still super approachable for me. Oh, it's very approachable, but I... It's got I like a little it. more bitterness in the finish, yep. a little more malt in the flavor, mm. oh, yeah. a little more hop, but I would not even compare this to one of the most basic pale ales that I've had. This is truly the lightest pale ale I've ever experienced. I don't know if I would say it's the lightest pale ale. It's certainly a very approachable pale ale. I mean, you've had lighter than this. Oh, yeah. Name a pale ale you've had that's lighter than this. I have brain damage, so I'm not very good at naming. And that's because there isn't. This is truly the lightest like pale ale I've ever had. Okay. I, I actually don't mind the flavor. And I've had at least four beers in my life. And this is still the lightest pale ale. But, but I don't mind the flavor. Little, and I don't little... mind the flavor either. Yeah. It's just that it's too light. This is a table beer you have with pizza. This is a table beer you have with... Yeah. Fully flavored foods, because this isn't going to get in the way of anything, because yep. it's just complimentary. It's just a little bit of flavor. I, I would wholeheartedly agree. But then I could just buy those macro brewery beers. Why am I drinking this? I don't think you're going to get... what. Well, what pale ale What pale ale are you going to get from the macro breweries, from the big two, that are going to taste like this? I don't drink from them, so I can't answer that question. I don't think you will. If I had to go somewhere where they only served, you know... Uh, steam whistle and a couple of the big, you know, the big companies. This is the beer that I would choose. You are damning with faint praise, my friend. I, I know, but I, if they literally, have anything if else. all they have out there is blue and the beer that shall not be named and uh, yeah. Keith's, and oh, yeah. this, this is the one you're going to order. Well, great, awesome, way to go, buddy. But you're talking about if everything is level one, you just ordered a level one point one. Mm -hmm. When there's a universe of beer out there 
that goes up to level 10 that you could be experiencing instead? I would say that this is a level two and a half. I would say if the, if the okay, level... Okay, and if, I, if we just established that it goes up to level 10, and this is your two and a half, Sorry, I thought you, you were are going once again damning the I thought the you were going to four. Race. I didn't know you were going to 10. What scale goes to four? I don't fucking know. What scale goes to 10? My scale Everything! Goes... I don't know. Okay, so you're going to... <laughs> so as far as this goes, thanks, yeah. but I'm good. Yeah, just go buy the beer. Exactly. Yeah. Go buy the Pilsner and enjoy that. But if you buy the individual cans, you won't have the foil. Well, maybe you do. Maybe it's just you. No, the foil wasn't on any of them. Okay. So if you want the foil, buy the box. Don't buy the box for don't any reason whatsoever. Other than no. the foil. No, don't even for that. It's not worth it. Go buy a, a, no. a pack of the the foil, foil yeah. at the dollar store. You're going to be fine. The foil doesn't work. Thanks for watching the Royal Dura Brewery Tour. Well said. Thank you. I'm Jay. I'm Seth. Catch us next time when we try some new and obviously better beers. Yes. Make sure you like and subscribe below. But not in this box because there's nothing great in this box. I like the pale ale. See you next time. <laughs> <laughs> if we're going to 10, then then I would say that this is... This is about a four and a half to five. For You've been drinking a lot more tonight than I have if you think that's true. Nope. The more I drink it, the more I actually enjoy it. You know when people say that they agree to disagree? Yeah, I know. We're just gonna disagree. That's okay. This is this is nothing. That's okay. I nothing this. <laughs> I don't love it or hate it. I nothing it. It's okay. I I don't mind this one. I like this one. Far better than the last two we've had. Again, damning with faint praise. But I don't mind the Pilsner. Hey, this it's... piece of crap that has a, flo a flower on it, I like it far better than those that don't have a flower on it. It's still a piece of crap. I will drink... I, I would go out of my way to find this beer and have it in my fridge. I'm out. <laughs>